Oh my God, you're in for a treat. And you're in for a treat. This is my, you're about to watch my favorite, um, my favorite video. Not only because of its, it really has a very sweet charm to it. And of course it features my darling Mocha at only 10 weeks. But um, that video was also the tipping point. Um, that's kind of Trey Malcolm Gladwell, isn't it? <clears throat> well, the tipping point existed before uh, Mr. G Gladwell wrote a book about it. Uh, it's the tipping point because that video has sent me on a sojourn that you are sharing, which I may never return from. Um, and so it's, it's the fulcrum, it's the beginning. It's the tipping point. Um, the story behind it is that um, while Mocha was taking an afternoon nap, I was just engrossed in surfing on the internet uh, treats for my little puppy. And what I had in mind were these little kind of grand crackery cookies that are in the shape of a bone. But I guess the world has just passed me by and I suddenly awake to an explosion of titillating things for your puppy's palate that are also organic and exotic. Um, and not only that, but there were passionate reviews about um, the purchasers of such items. And I loved reading all of it. Um, I didn't know you could get um, filet of organic emu belly for your puppy or why you would particularly want it. But I looked at the clock, hours had passed, and while he was sleeping, I was supposed to do some serious things that were very important. So instead, I went to the kitchen, I put a chair on my dining counter and taped my iPad Pro up to it with some duct tape and pulled out some dishes and presto, the delicate palate flowed out of me with um, zero preparation and, um, and it, it just reflects on uh, how charming I, funny I find the world is and how much I love my little brown puppy Mocha. So that's a little insight. I hope you enjoy the delicate palate. Mocha, in honor of your 10th week of life and your second week of your residence here, Mommy has prepared a special tasting menu that features things that seem to titillate your very particular palate. We start here with breast of duck. It's been sauteed with kidney to give it a special urine aroma. Yes, darling, just wait, good things. Second of all, we feature a dish that is grain-free buffalo balls, which has been sauteed with the remains of mommy's uh, favorite black lace pair of underpants that you seem to really favor. We follow that with a special tasting of wild salmon for special Omega-3 that has been prepared with the remains of the left rag and bone Italian chew that mommy really, really enjoyed. We follow very quickly with deer liver venison, which has been flash fried with the remains of mommy's Sonicare toothbrush. And then we follow that by wild rabbit which has been minced and cooked with a savory poop sauce in honor of that steaming cigar that you left me on the oriental rug that I stepped in at 2.30 in the morning. Of course, all of this will be accompanied by a special palate cleanser. 
so you can enjoy the separate tastes of each menu. Mocha, come here. Look up. Come here, Mokey. Here we go. This is for you, darling. Okay. So shall we start with this dish here? Or follow that perhaps? Mocha, mocha, look. With this dish over here. Oh, that seems to be special. I think that was the buffalo balls. And here, darling. Ooh, I think that's the Victoria's Secret underpants. You did very well. And now for the third course, my sweet. Yum. Hey, monks, over here. Look, look, look. Over here. And we'll follow that with a little piece of salmon. You are a Portuguese water dog. And of course, the final dish over here, Angel. I think that this meal has been a raging success. Oh, well, that's enough of that. And what about this? The palate refresher, chippies. You like your chippies, don't you? Your little angel. Here's a little more, baby. And a little more. Here, sweetheart. Mommy will just hold this for you so you can have a real go at it. Look over here, Mox. Is that good? Is that good? Did you like that, baby? I think you're doing really well, don't you? Huh? Do you love your mommy? Sure you do. Oh, I hope you like that video as much as I do. It's so charming. I have a real third-person reaction to these videos because I seem to, to channel the gods of humor. And um, it feels like it doesn't really come from me. And it's there it is, like as an object that's separate from me. Well, if you enjoyed that video, please like it, subscribe, and most importantly, share it. I look forward to seeing you on the next Mocha episode. Bye-bye.